Welcome to Configuring Azure API Management. My name is Matthew Quickenden, and I'm going to be guiding you through some of the key features and aspects of configuring the Azure API Management resource. I have over 20 years industry experience and have recently been working with cloud and hybrid cloud technologies with a specific focus on Azure and Azure Stack. Because Azure API Management takes a while to deploy and become usable, we're going to go to the Azure portal and kick off the provisioning process immediately. There is only one blade you need to complete to start the creation of your service, which we can review now. In this case, we can see a screenshot where I've named it Cloud Demo, which is appended with the .azure-api net suffix. I've selected a subscription and a resource group. I've chosen a location and given the company a name. I've also entered an email address. This needs to be a valid email as you will receive emails to this based on the service. And selected a pricing tier, which is developer. If we look at the pricing details, we can see that the developer tier costs around $33 a month and contains all the features we need to develop. This includes AAD integration, virtual networks, the things you are short on are things like redundancy, you're only in a single region, you can't scale. However, all the features you need to develop are there for any of the other tiers. Once you go into production, you can change the SKU of your API very easily by selecting a new SKU. So with all this done, let's click Create, and we can let the service provision. Once the service is ready, you will receive a notification email. While that's provisioning, let's take a look at what the Azure API Management is. On the Microsoft website, if you look up what is API Management, Microsoft defines it as, API Management helps organizations publish APIs to external, partner, and internal developers to unlock the potential of their data and services. Businesses everywhere are looking to extend operations as a digital platform, creating new channels, finding new customers, and driving deeper engagement with the existing ones. API management provides the core competencies to ensure a successful API program through developer engagement, business insight, analytics, security, and protection. You can use Azure API management to take any backend system and develop a fully fledged API on top of it. So what does that mean? Using an API is a very common way to communicate over the internet, allowing your organization to provide services in a secure manner. You can consider APIM as a gateway service that provides a developer portal, a publisher portal, and allows developers, publishers, and applications and users to access all the content and data securely hosted in your own backend systems. Using API management allows developers to easily consume APIs in different formats, including OpenAPI, which is an open standard and language agnostic, WADL XML representation of APIs, WSDL, which is SOAP representation of APIs, and other Azure hosted services like Logic Apps, Function Apps, and API Apps. Once you have ingested these APIs, you can create different products, which allows you to deliver parts of these APIs to different user groups with different restrictions and options. When a user or company connects to the API management service, they obtain a subscription. This subscription is used to help manage incoming requests. Azure API Management also offers a flexible way to version, test and publish APIs to internal and external users. Some of the benefits of the Azure API Management are freedom of language choice, scalable, limit access or the number of calls, offloading security, insights for performance and troubleshooting, now that we have an idea of what the Azure API Management is and can do, and before we proceed with configuring this service, let's discuss the scenario of what we're going to try and achieve over the length of this course. There are a lot of components that make up the configuration of the service. Here we're going to explain what we are going to work through. We have already started the creation of the Cloud Demo API in our subscription. Once this completes, we are going to ingest an API provided by Microsoft. This API contains a number of API operations around getting conference data. We will then create a simple API request in Postman. From there, we can create the required applications in Azure AD. I've already provisioned an Azure AD called CyberLabs for this demo, and would expect you to have your own Azure AD, or if you don't have one, to configure it now. In the Azure AD, we will create a back-end app, a front-end app, along with the secret key, 
We will also grant the front-end application permission to access the back-end app. We will use the Azure portal, the developer portal, and Postman to query the imported Microsoft demo APIs using these applications. We will then add API policies and look at how we can scope and understand effective policy and how to trace these policies. Finally, we will make sure that our API is secure and that requests to the API require a valid access token or bearer token from our Azure AD tenant, which in this case is CyberLabs. I hope you found this content useful and it helps you create and consume your own APIs.